another mission down. Now we can go talk to some friends and see what they got to say. Why am I glad to be off of Novaria? I don't know which was worse, the cold or the corporations. The corporations. One will freeze your balls off, the other will sell them out from under you. With all due respect, Commander. I have to go. All right, see ya. If you are here to talk about Benezia's death, you need not bother. She brought it upon herself. In the end, maybe she's better off now. Maybe. She was a good person once. Before she was twisted by Sovereign's power. Better to remember her as she used to be. I blame Saren. And if I were you, I'd want revenge. We have enough reason to stop Saren. I do not need to add revenge to the list. Benezia chose her path, just as I have chosen mine. I am with you until the end, Shepard. Maybe we could pick up where we left off. You were telling me about your interest in the Protheans. Actually, I think I was talking about my interest in you, and making a fool of myself in the process. As I said, I am not used to dealing with people, especially humans. I did not really know much about your species when we first met, Shepard. I found it hard to take humanity seriously. Your kind always seems so rushed and high-strung. We don't have the luxury of time. An Asari can live for a thousand years. We're lucky if we hit 150. That is oh, true. At now. first I thought that was a weakness of your species. After spending time with you and your crew, however, I think it may actually be an advantage. You humans are creatures of action. You pursue your goals with an almost indomitable determination. It is an admirable trait, but also an intimidating one. You can't argue with results. No, but there are consequences. Unfortunately, the rest of the galaxy sees humanity as a bully. You run over anyone who gets in your way. It is up to people like you to change their minds, Shepard. Why me? There is a reason the Council chose you to become a Spectre. They saw something special in you. Failed. The best of what humanity has to road. offer. I looked into your history. I know what you did during the Blitz. It was a remarkable display of courage and heroism. You didn't need to go behind my back. I would have told you whatever you wanted to know. I apologize, Commander. After our last conversation, I was afraid I would say something stupid again. I wanted to know more about you. To understand what made you into the man you are. Huh? There is something compelling about you, Shepard. You're interested in me because of my visions. You just want to know more about the Protheans. I admit, your connection to the Protheans had something to do with my initial interest. But it has grown beyond that. You intrigue me, Shepard. But I was not sure if it was appropriate to act on my feelings. I thought there might already be a relationship between you and Chief Williams. Williams and I are just friends, nothing more. My mistake then. I am not as adept at understanding human relationships as I thought. But what about us, Shepard? Is there a mutual attraction, or was I wrong about that too? I'm not romancing Liara. I'm not interested in you in that way, Liara. This is very embarrassing for me, Commander. Please, let's talk about something else. Sorry. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Fucking teleported. Anything you need, Commander? What's your opinion on the last mission? Killing Saren's, uh, what was Benezzi anyway? Second in command? Advisor? Anyway, it should set him back a bit. I'm sure Dr. Tassoni's hurting, though. Poor kid. Having to kill her own 
mom. I did just do that after her mom died. Any opinion on the Rachni? Off the record? If we had the option, I'd as soon have left it to the council. We weren't out here during the Rachni War. I'm not sure we have any business getting involved. Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? I didn't figure you'd have time to talk with all that's going on. There's got to be some xenobiologists who want to read about the Thorian. The paperwork will keep. Something on your mind? I'm just looking for an ear. That a briefing wasn't the right place to say how ridiculous this is. Mm -hmm. Seems like every other race in the galaxy is wrapped up in their own problems. They don't want to see what's coming. So can I guess this will add to your resentment against aliens? Resentment? Against aliens? I mean, I'm not... What makes you think that? I think you'd carry a grudge over the crap you took from Vernus. Before I met Vernus, I knew as much as any other civilian. Aliens were weird, superior, and tried to tell us what to do. I mean, it's only been 26 years since first contact. That's not a lot of time to understand them. But it was Vernus who made me see how human aliens are. They're not different or special. They're jerks and saints, just like us. Hell, by the time I got payback, I didn't even want it anymore. Payback. I'm glad to hear the bastard got what he deserved. He didn't deserve... He hurt Rana. Broke her arm. She reached for a glass of water instead of pulling it biotically. She just wanted a drink without getting a nosebleed. You know? Like an idiot, so I he stood snapped up. her arm? Didn't know what I was gonna do. Just something. And Vernus lost it. Beat the crap out of me. He kept shouting how they should have bombed us back to the Stone Age. That's when the knife came up. A military issue talent, right in my face. I cut loose. Full biotic kick right in the teeth. Almost as strong as I can manage now. At 17, that's something. You wanted to help a girl you cared for. That's a noble thing. Maybe my intentions were noble, but I. I lost control. I killed him, Shepard. One kick, man. Snapped his neck. They probably could have saved him if they got him to an infirmary quick enough. But they didn't. Caused a stir when they shipped him home. Bot training was shut down. Kinetics folded a couple of years later. So, yeah, maybe I hated that Turian. I mean, if one ass was enough to judge a whole race, I'd hate humans too. A reasonable stance. Keep that level head and we'll do fine. Better than Stay actually. reasonable is about all we've got left. Everyone else in this galaxy seems to have gone out of their minds. Present company accepted, of course. Commander, I... What can I do for you? Something bothering you? It's Saren. I'm starting to wonder whether we'll ever find him. He's always one step ahead of us, and he's got those damn geth. We're getting close, Garrus. We'll find him. I wish I had your confidence. I just can't stand the thought of him getting away with everything he's done. I know you're doing everything you can, and if anyone can catch him, it's you. But if there's anything else I can do to help, anything, just tell me what you want me to do, and I'll do it. I understand your concern, but we'll find him. Just make sure you're ready to go when we do. Yes, sir. I'll be ready. Can I ask you something, Commander? What is it? Are you worried that the Council might be protecting Saren? I mean, they were really dragging their heels before. What if we find him, bring him back to the Citadel, and they refuse to act? You seem to have some thoughts on this. Speak your mind, Garrus. Well, maybe we shouldn't give them the chance, Commander. In my opinion, Saren's too dangerous to be kept alive. Too much could happen. He could escape, or the Council might let him go. If we find him, when we find him, I say we make sure we stop him, permanently. I'm glad you see it that way. I never had any intention of capturing that bastard. When I see him, he dies. Good. The Council won't like it, but they can't stop you either. They did tell me I could see this is why I want to be a Spectre. You never have to worry about bureaucratic idiots making a mess of everything. Just make sure you're ready when it happens. Yes, sir. You. Hey, Skipper. 
Any interest in a small drink? It's a special occasion. What's the occasion? It's Armistice Day, when the first contact war ended. My family always marks it. Since I'm the only Williams aboard, I thought I'd ask you. Seems like an odd thing to celebrate. That was 26 years ago. In our family, it's not really a celebration, more like an obligation. Don't tell me you don't know about my family. My commanders always find out. It's not in my files or something? There's almost nothing in your files. Technical scores and the list of crap assignments. There's a reason for the crap assignments. I'm General Williams' granddaughter, the commander of the Shanxi garrison in the war. The only human ever to surrender to an alien race. I see. That's why you drive yourself so hard. A Williams has to be better than the best, if only to avoid suspicion. That's what my dad told me the night before he retired. It takes a special kind of thick-headed to march into a job where your family's blacklisted. Mm. I did it anyway. I'm not gonna let our name go down with Arnold and Quisling. Granddad deserved better than that. I should have figured this out myself. I don't know how I can help you, though. Look at who I am, Shepard. Do you ever hear me ask for help? It's not that bad things don't happen to me. If you stay with me long enough, maybe I'll tell you about some of them. But I deal with them myself. I don't need a shoulder to cry on, a knight to rescue me, or a man to make me happy. This is who I am. I like her. And you better like her too. So, you still interested in me? Baggage and all? Uh... You're interested in me? It's hard to tell. Maybe I'm not. I guess you've been too busy saving the galaxy to think about it. But hey, once we save the galaxy, maybe the Alliance will get its act together. Start acting like an actual government. We better get going then. Seems I've got something to look forward to after we're done. More than you know. I have a feeling things will come to a head soon. But don't worry, Shepard. I'll protect you. How do I you. back out of that? What's your opinion on the last mission? You mean the Rachni, right? They were dangerous, Skipper. They proved that 2,000 years ago. I think it was a mistake to let them go. But that wasn't my call to make. It, it was yours. If you haven't talked to Dr. Tassoni, you probably should. Yeah, I've talked she to her just already. Lost her mom. That has to hurt. Just saying, Skipper. We'll talk later, Williams. Looking forward to it, Skipper. Shepard. So, you'd rather be a merc than help your people? I'm a fighter. It's what I do. Aren't you at all worried about what will happen to the Krogan? What the hell do you want me to do about it, Shepard? I'm tired of sticking my ass on the line and getting nothing for it. So you decided to go your own way? I decided killing for credits was better than killing for a lost cause. I'm not like you, Shepard. I'm no hero. Bottom line, killing for credits simplifies things. You ever think about helping your people? I try not to. But there's a lot of Krogan works out there. I'm always running into them. Half the time I'm being paid to kill them. But that's just part of the job. You don't get to pick who your enemies are. How long have you been a merc? Long enough. I took my first contract right after I left my home system. It's good work, but doesn't kill you. I get the feeling you enjoy your work. Sure. You get to see the galaxy on someone else's credits, and most days end with a good fight. I've tried more organized fighting, private armies and such, but it gets too messy. I fight best on my own, or in very small groups. I don't like people relying on me, and I bloody well don't like relying on them. So long, Rex. Shepard. It feels like we're getting near the end, doesn't it, Shepard? With Saren, I mean. It won't be much longer. One way or another, it'll all be over soon. You'll find the conduit before he does. I know you will. You have to. 
after this is all over, when my pilgrimage ends and I go back to my own people, I'll be proud to say I was a part of it. We couldn't have done this without you, Telly. You've been good to me. A lot of people treat Quarians like second-class citizens. They just want us to go back to our fleet and disappear. But you've treated me just like everyone else on your crew. Like an equal. That means a lot, and it says something about you. Whatever happens, I just want to say thank you for that. I'm gonna miss you when you go back to your own people, Tally. That won't happen for a while yet. I'll be right here anytime you need me. I want to know more about the pilgrimage. When we... This is presented as a gift to the captain of the... Like what? See you later. Okay, that ends it for that. So, I think now we should probably go back to the table really quick. I don't really have any assignments to do though. Um, how much money do I have? Enough, finally. Equalizing. Interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Well, Garrus. Any regrets about leaving Citadel security? Fighting a rogue specter with countless lives at stake and no regulations to get in the way? I'd say that beat CSEC. Well, we don't lack for excitement, that's for sure. Veria report raised a few eyebrows in the council, Shepard. I can't believe you let that queen live. There's a reason their species was nearly wiped out. You should have finished them off. This queen isn't like the others. She's not interested in conquest or war. Really? I'm glad you're an expert in a species we know virtually nothing about. I hope we're both still around in 50 years to see if you're right. Genocide of an entire species is a terrible tragedy, Ambassador. Shepard did the right thing. Fine. I'll just tell everyone we figured it was a good idea to release a fertile Rachni queen in the wilds of Novaria. 
I'm sure nobody will have a problem with that. Yes, Commander? I should go. I'll be here if you need me. My first CSEC posting was here on the Presidium. Mostly for show, not much of mine. Welcome. Welcome to the Presidium. Allow me to be your guide. Welcome back, Earth Clan. Will Show me what you've got. Everything for one through four is going to go. Show me what you... Yes, human. You need something, yes? Let me see what you have. Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Yes, human, you need something. Goodbye. Yes, all right then. Good tidings to you, human. Oh. Yes, human, you need something. Well, oh, you...
shit. Yes, Commander. Is there something? Let me take. Of the course. A Solarian excavation team has run into an unexpected problem after unearthing a Prothean dig site. Hanar protesters have blockaded the dig site, claiming that... Hanar. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. Logged. The commanding officer is aboard. Exo Presley stands relieved. Time to go bring down the sky. 